Hello everyone, welcome to today's reading. Today the reading is going to be on who has a crush on you and why. Why does this person have a crush on you? So we're going to pick the card for each group together and we're going to be using an animal oracle that is in Slovenian, which is my mother tongue. So I wanted to bring a little bit of that in here today. So I would call you to think of your person right now, bring them to your mind. And let's get into this. Let's get group for pile one group. Um, a picture, a card for group number one, please, Ferret. Okay, this one. Okay, so we have the B or Chabila in Slovenian showing up for you, group number one, as your card. This is group number one, the B. Group number two, please, Ferret. Okay, we have Kos. I'm not sure how exactly this is pronounced or what this type of bird is in uh, English. I'm going to look it up and I'm going to just put it somewhere here. But Kos here, the bird for group number two. Very interesting. And let's get a card for group number three now. Group number three, we have the owl showing up for you. Group number three, so Sova in Slovenian. But yeah, the owl here showing up as your card, as the card it wants to represent your person. Today, group number three. Right, so these are the three groups you can pick from for today's reading. The timestamps are down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below this video. If any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy shop, which is also linked down below. And if you're interested in getting 18 plus tarot readings or just additional tarot readings altogether, check out Patreon for that. If you want to work more closely with me, want a more personal guidance throughout the month, check out the Patreon tier called Badass Shaman. So that one's kind of just on reserved let's say for one-on-one -on -one work with me it is quite limited so if you're interested do check that out all the links are down below as well if you want to check other things out that i do or things that i am involved in so these are the groups pause the video right now if you feel like you need a little bit more time and we're going to move to your readings right now Hello and welcome group number one. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked the B here or Chabila in Slovenian. We're using a Slovenian deck today. So first of all, we're just going to tap into who has a crush on you, what this person is like. And then we're going to also dive into the why, like why does this person have a crush on you? We're going to get some initials as well for you guys today. So let's get two, three more cards for your person. So who is this person who has a crush on you? We have Jeriao here as well. So I'm so not sure how to pronounce any of these in English. We also have is my Ognia or the fire dragon. So at least we've got that. Your person could be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or the person that has a crush on you could be um, a strong fire element. Ooh, we also have a blank one showing up here. This means that this person is a bit of an enigma to you or that you are kind of interested in them and they're a bit of an enigma to you. We also have the pig or a Svenia showing up for you guys. All right. Cool, very interesting, right? So let's see what type of person this is that they, that has a crush on you. So they're quite a hardworking person. Uh, what I'm hearing here with the B is that they are very um, good in groups. So this person is someone who is good to collaborate with. What I'm hearing, however, is that they do prefer to work alone with Sherry Yao here. Um, oh my gosh, it's, it's like on the edge of my tongue, this bird. Um, Gosh, I am, I'm possibly going to remember throughout the reading what it's called in English, but for now, let's just leave it at that. Your person is very intuitive or this person that you are connecting to through, you know, their crush on you. It just feels like they are um, 
very intuitive, quite a dreamy person. So they have like a lot of layers to them is what I'm getting here. They can be quite mysterious. Um, this person is also like very passionate, but like passionate in very specific areas of life or they're just very specific interests that they're very passionate about with the fire dragon over here. They can have a bit of a temper or they can like quickly get frustrated and then like let it go. Um, it feels a little bit like Aries moon energy. Yeah. This one, like the, the fire element here feels like Aries moon where they're kind of getting like upset very quickly and then like, ah, let, let it go very quickly as well. Could also be uh, Aries uh, sun energy or just, you know, have strong Aries representatives in their chart. So this person is kind of mysterious to you. You maybe are unable to like put a stamp on them or put them into any specific category in your life. Um... You could also, for some of you, could also not notice this person at all, you know, so this could mean the blank card here could mean that you're just like blanking, like who the, hop, who the fuck this even is. Maybe you haven't noticed them at all. Um, maybe they just don't stand out to you or they are very much like a mysterious enigma to you, like you're trying to figure them out already and you're kind of already like involved with them in a mental way. It's not a romantic situation but you're kind of thinking about them a lot so this person does have a crush on you if you are resonating with that type of enigmatic mysterious person and if any of this kind of just connects to them as well um that is the person that has a crush on you so with the B, as said, they're very hardworking. This person can be very, very busy or is often found like running around rummaging like always like doing something doing 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 um, I'm hearing I, they don't know how to sit still or how to be still. Um, they could be a person who is not as grounded in the physical as well. Like they could be quite um, flighty or just, you know, always need to have stuff going on for them or they always have just stuff going on and they're never sitting still with themselves. Um, they can be prone to getting frustrated or like a little bit angry occasionally, but it's not like it's a negative anger. It's just like their expression of their emotions comes up in anger or through anger often. Like they're frustrated over something, but then that like just quickly goes away as well. What else is going on? This person is like, as said, like good in groups, but they also like to be alone. They also like to do things alone. What I'm hearing is they're also very protective of the people they are with or the people they collaborate with. Um, also, they're very protective of their family. This person has with the pig here, with the wild boar, really. Um, they have this very protective drive towards their family, a very protective drive towards um, the people that they have an attachment to. So, you know, you could also see this person as being protective of you or standing up for you in some way or being there for you even, you know, they have this sort of drive towards taking care and protecting the people. They consider their quote unquote kin, whether that's their family or just the people that they really, really like strongly resonate with, which I am getting that this person resonates with you very strongly or they are very drawn to you, you know, but they, they do have a lot of stuff going on in their life, in their personal life. Their life is very busy. It's very like filled with stuff. Um, and they're always kind of on the go, always on the move, always have something going on. They also do have like a lot of people around there. A lot of people are connected to them. This is also a part of your person kind of wanting that, you know, they want to be around people a lot. They want to have a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, they, they can be seen as a chill person, as a very calm person. But at the same time, like, they're not fully that calm. It's just, 
It's just like they might be seen by you as someone who is very calm, has their shit together, can be peaceful, you know, very like serene person here. Um, but it just is giving me the energy of like they're not really that. Or this person could have like a lot of opposites to them as well, making them that enigma, you know. I can't really pin you down. Are you calm? Are you serene? Or are you chaotic and, you know, just passionate and wildfire type of person, you know? So they could have a lot of like opposites to them, um, like hot and cold behavior, just, just you know, very oppositional characteristics as well. So that's basically that. Let's tap into why this person likes you or just any more information about them. So let's see, why do they like you? Okay, so I'm being called to just, first of all, just get a bit more information on them through Tarot. So like, who is this person? Can we get some more info on who is this person that has a crush on pile number one group? Okay. So this is the person who could struggle with anxiety, with worry, with the nine of swords here. Um, this is a person in your life who could, you know, be very anxious or just could, could be, um, what I'm hearing is unsteady or just, yeah, like, like mentally troubled, um, but not like mentally troubled necessarily in a in a way that would lead to them being um, depressed or anxious um, clinically. It just feels like they, they might be like that troubled artist type of person or the troubled person who's kind of always kind of figuring something out. Um, always like chasing something, trying to get after something. Let's see what else. We have the Empress. So this person could be also like incredibly beautiful, very nurturing. They could have a lot of feminine qualities to them as well with the Empress. They are quite, I'm getting like attuned to nature. They like to spend time in nature as well. Um, overall, this person can be quite like passive as well. They don't have a lot of masculine energy in them. Yeah, like like there's that protector energy to this person and, and that great nurturing energy to this person. They always like to look good as well. So with the Empress, this person likes to make sure that they look good, especially like for you as well. They like to make sure that they are um, perceived in a good way and perceived in a positive way. What else with the Empress? With the Empress, there's, there's this energy showing up as though like they want you to admire them. So this person could um, like show off in a sense to you and could just, you know, talk about what they've done or what they have accomplished or, you know, what they have with the Empress here. Um, they could strut their accomplishments or the things that they bought to you. You know, for example, I have this. And I've just bought that, but they could, they, they would do it. What I'm getting is just in a very spontaneous way, not in a bragging sort of way, but just like mentioning it, but kind of hoping that you catch on and you're like, Ooh, look at them. They're wonderful. They're interesting. They're amazing. Um, and they, they want to like be perceived as a good catch here. Your person's kind of presenting themselves to you, you know, like you're, you're going to notice this energy. Like, like they're kind of wanting you to admire them. It's that type of vibe. Um, we also do have the Page of Wands here. So again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius showing up here. We do have Libra, Taurus here as well. So with this Page of Wands, this person is very like exciting. They could be young or younger than you or just have a young spirit to them, very childlike energy. Um, but a child like in like a joyful, playful way, this person could be very playful, very fun, um, also very exciting to be around. Um, they love adventures. This person enjoys um, spontaneous trips is what I'm hearing as well. Um, they're overall quite a lucky person with the Aladdin's lamp here. It just feels like they're quite a lucky person. Um, they are optimistic about life, positive overall, even though they do struggle with, 
you know, some of those worries, anxieties, they can be a bit troubled occasionally, but overall, they try to look at the bright side of things, or at least they present themselves as this person who's looking at the bright side of things often. But they do have like this, this deeper side to them with the Nine of Swords as well. Again, with these two, there's like a contrast, like an opposition showing up. So this person, again, like with this card here, they could be quite, um, like quite oppositional in their characteristics or how they show up quite enigmatic, mysterious, or, or just like interesting because they're not that solid, you know? So let's see, let's get one more card here. As to who has a crush on you, we have the Ace of Coins. So with the Ace of Coins, this is the, the person who might have manifested something amazing for themselves recently, like a new possession. They might have talked about that to you lately as well. And yeah, I feel like this person has been showing you through their actions that they like you or that they're interested in you in some way. Like they want you to notice them. They might have invited you for tea, for coffee, or whatever, to hang out even. You know, this person has made some moves towards you. They've kind of approached you in some way or form here with the Ace of Coins. What I'm also hearing is it's easy for this person to manifest. So it's quite natural for them to manifest things. They don't have trouble with manifestation overall. Um... What else? They, they can be good with money or money comes easily to this person. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. So let's tap into why do they like you? So what is it about you that this person just is crazy for? Let's see why this person has a crush on you. So why do they have a crush on pile one, please, Spirit? Why do they have a crush on them? Okay, so we have the three of pentacles. Okay, so you might work with this person. So they have a crush on you potentially just because you are near them, because you guys work together, if that resonates for you. Let me just put this over here. Um, you're also like a good collaborator. There, there be energy, you know, the hardworking collaborative spirit in them really enjoys connecting to you. They feel like you're very efficient. You are good when it comes to teamwork and they kind of have a crush on you because you are so efficient in working in a team with them. Um, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're very steady. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm really getting into this right now. Okay, I get it. So this person really has a crush on you because you are much more grounded than they are and they are subconsciously searching to be grounded or searching for people who help ground them in the physical world. You're the type of person who is in their opinion, so this could not resonate with you, so just be mindful of that. In their opinion, you can be very... um dutiful, you're very committed, you're very responsible, you're very re reliable. So they feel like they can relax around you and they have a certain stability with you, like you help ground them. But that's like on a subconscious level, right? Your person is subconsciously or this person uh, that has a crush on you is subconsciously searching for people who are grounded, who are very earthy or have a lot of earth in their chart because it just feels like they are not as earthy here and yeah they're going to like spont be spontaneous spontaneously drawn towards people who are more earthy so again you feel solid you feel practical to them and even though they might appear practical on the surface level this person's not in possession of a lot of earth. It just feels like, you know, they're not solid, they're not practical, they're very like loose, spirited, moving, you know, very fiery energy, like very, very mutable energy. Let's see what else shows up for you. So we have the Four of Cups. 
Okay, so this person also has a crush on you because, oh, they are bored. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're sometimes bored. Not sometimes. This person has has just a certain proneness to boredom. If they are in a relationship with someone else right now, you know, if that resonates for you with this person, they could be bored in that relationships or, or relationship or that relationship is just not passionate or exciting or um or or just interesting enough or adventurous enough for their fire so they could just have a crush on you because you provide a sense of adventure to this person we have the page of pentacles here again um we have the king of pentacles yeah like you provide adventure to this person and you provide the grounded energy to this person, a solid energy to this person. So that's why they have a crush on you because you're very earthy. Um, what else? You're interesting. It's like they can rely upon you to have an adventure with you. Um, yet at the same time, you ground them. So you, you kind of scratch the itch of adventure plus grounding and solidness and you know reliability we also have the empress they have a crush on you because you're just incredibly beautiful as well um i'm hearing very good looking um they have a crush on you because you take care of yourself and we have the eight of cups they have a crush on you because you're someone who works on themselves they have a crush on you because you're someone who doesn't take bullshit from other people. You're someone who walks away from toxic situations and they really enjoy that. You also have that here. So hmm, they don't, ooh, They also have a crush on you or they are drawn to you because you have the power to transform them. So it's all very subconscious. So, you know, crushes often, you know, they're not going to be very rational. So it's a very subconscious energy of feeling drawn to someone that is or has the power to transform um, and move the other person emotionally, energetically. So that's what your person very drawn to, your ability to like move them, transform them, renew them, switch them up. And this person also does enjoy it if you like trigger them occasionally. So they also do like that because it moves them away again from this Four of Cups energy, from this discontent boredom. Um, yeah, like this person loves adventure, loves excitement, and you provide that at the same time as providing them with that solid ground. And it's such an interesting combination to be able to tap into that type of person from their perspective and to be with that type of person who's like exciting them and is potentially like triggering them in that exciting way um, and also just grounding them as well, like stabilizing them. It's very interesting, very cool. So let's get some um, of these little messages and also some initials for you guys for the very end. Oh, so we have Capricorn showing up here. So you could be Capricorn, your person could be Capricorn just as a message, it doesn't have to resonate. We also have Mars, so strong Mars energy, strong warrior energy, that could be your energy or your person's energy. So we also do have F, I'm hearing Ferdinand for some reason. So Aaron, I'm also hearing that. Fan, I'm hearing fan, like your person's a big fan of you. We have Faye, ooh, Faye. So you also could have talked about um, interesting books, like those, those fairy books that are very popular. Um, a Kyotar or something like that. Like there's there's this fae fairy um, thing books that are very popular currently. We have M. So we have N here as well. I'm hearing Natalie, Nate, um, Nathaniel. We have H. I'm hearing Harry <laughs> or Harry. Your person could be Harry. We have E. I'm hearing elementary. Ooh, we again have a blank one. So that's again like tapping into that enigmatic character of your person. We have I. And we have C. Let's take a couple more just because I feel like really called to take some more initials. 
So we have A again. We have A again. Oh my gosh, all right. And we have R showing up for you guys. Whoops. Okay, so we're just going to put this one here. Oh, fame. Oh, fame. Your person could be famous in some way, or you could be famous, or and they could be just really drawn to you because of that. Um, we have connection. Your person feels a great deal of connection with you. Uh, we have I again. Oh, I'm just going to put it there. We have S. I'm hearing S O S. Oh, like that song S O S. Please, someone help me. It's not healthy. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe Rihanna. I don't know. Uh, we have O. So S O S. It's like someone help me. You know that this connection is feeling quite hardcore for this person. So interesting. So thank you guys for tuning in for this reading. Um, maybe some of this spells something out for you. You can pause the video if you feel like you want to play around with the numbers and with the numbers, with the letters. Um, thank you for tuning in. All my love and blessings to you. We do have strong earth representatives, at least for you showing up here. So Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We also do have Capricorn over here. And again, Libra showing up over here. So strong fire, earth energy showing up. Maybe that resonates for some of you. But overall, thank you for tuning in. It's been a pleasure connecting with all of you. If you want to book a personal tarot reading, check out the link in the description box below this video. Check out Etsy. Just remembered we have Scorpio here just staring us in the face. Just wanted to mention that, right? So um, yeah, if you want to check out Patreon, check it out for 18 plus tarot readings. And another tier is designated to you know, work with me more closely if you want that or if you're interested in that, diving deeper into your situation, into your life, shifting things, you know, check that out. Connect to me if you want to. All my love and blessings to you. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for your comments down below. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You have picked the black bird today, Kos in Slovenian. So this is going to be your reading on, first of all, who has a crush on you. So we're going to dive into that. Then we're going to see why this person has a crush on you, why they feel such a deep attachment to you. And we're going to get initials and some messages or message cards for the very end to just help you discern better who this person could be or just, you know, get confirmation as well. So let's get into this. So we have the blackbird over here. Let's see what else wants to show up for you. Who has a crush on pile number two, please, Scarlett? Oh, wow. So we have the deer here or Yellen in Slovenian. Really love using the Slovenian deck every now and then for you guys. We also have the Earth Dragon showing up. It's my Zemlia for you guys. So let's see what else. Okay, so this one. Ooh, we have the hair showing up or the Dewey Zayat's hair, the wild rabbit. Okay, one more card, please, Farad. Who has a crush on pile two? We have the dog. Oh my gosh, pass the dog. So let's let's see what's going on. We do have God here or the snake um, on the bottom of the deck. So I'm just going to keep this in mind. Um, there's a healing energy to this person is what I'm feeling. So this person could be very healing for you, or you could just perceive them as a healer. They could be someone who works in counseling or just is very compassionate, very intuitive, a good listener. This person is someone who with the blackbird here is very enchanting. They could have black eyes or there is, there is something quite distinctively black about them, their hair, their eyes, their skin color. You know, there's something about them that's like very stunning, very, um, very like, almost like shining bright blackness, you know, that dreamy, um, 
like shiny black energy is showing up here like something about them could be very striking in that way they could also just have very dark brown hair that is very shiny that's very striking you know i'm just i just heard like a black coat of hair or dark brown coat of hair they could just have really very shiny hair long hair that they take care of um there's some just something very striking to them they could also just have very contrasting features to their face um strong bone structure is what's showing up here as well strong cheekbones are very like visible cheekbones is what i'm seeing here as well um yeah like they have a certain charisma to them is what i'm seeing also what i'm seeing is like your person is very loyal they're very they're a very loyal person to their friends to their family they're very friendly but the earth dragon here it just feels like they're very grounded this person likes their material possessions a lot as well like I'm, I'm tapping into this treasure that the dragon has and it's like oh my gosh they really do like their material possessions so what what i'm thinking about immediately is like taurus energy your person could also be like an earth sign or have strong earth representation in their chart so strong taurus capricorn virgo energy it doesn't have to resonate it's just something that i'm kind of noticing if it resonates for any of you they like to work on their own is what i'm getting or they like to be more secluded this person definitely feels like they are someone who form strong attachments with very specific people in their lives but overall they are someone who is more like of an introvert someone who likes to be by themselves or work by themselves they have strong wisdom so there's a strong like spiritual component to this person as well but it's not something that they would want to talk about a lot or mention a lot um this is the type of person who kind of keeps their spirituality or their spiritual life to themselves um i'm hearing hiking they like to hike or they like to just overall be out in nature a lot they're very connected to their families as well yeah like very very bonded with their family or with the people they consider to be their family overall this person is very friendly but they're friendly in like an introverted type of way you know kind of just keeping themselves to themselves but overall just being like friendly with people you know um but they're not like over the top like charismatic they they do have like interesting features to them that attract people to them you know they, they have an interesting like mysterious energy that attracts people to them but i'm not seeing them as overly you know charismatic or interesting or like a people person person is it just more of I like to keep to myself, like to do my things, but they're they're kind of attracting people still through like that through some type of like internal power. Like this internal stability that the fire provides. There's something like interesting about them to people. Um, and something that's seen in their eyes is like this spark in their eyes um, that attracts people to them. So what else? This person can be very um, attracted to you bodily as well. You know, they might have mentioned that to you or they might have complimented some of you. Um, with the hair specifically, with the, with the deer here, I'm specifically like tapping into someone who is very sexually, what I'm hearing is active or very sexually um, drawn to you. They could be just very... Um, much like that as a person right so like expressing themselves through the body more easily than through the words um they also just feel overall like they they enjoy the aesthetic of people they could just enjoy your aesthetic as well interesting let's just dive into this a little bit more deeper um but yeah, this person feels grounded. What else? There is something about them that's like mysterious, that's hidden, that's like luring me in and asking me to come closer. 
it's almost like this dragon energy it's like come come hither type of feeling um but it's I'm, I'm also feeling a bit like unsure whether or not i should go as close to that person you know it's that type of energy where someone is interesting and they're kind of beckoning you closer um but but there's there's just some type of energy there that's it, it feels a little bit off you know um like there is this quiet seductive energy to them you know like an introverted seductive energy to them like they're beckoning you closer but you're not sure if you know you're going to be met with riches or you're going to get your head snapped off you know as you come close to them so it's that type of vibe um that mysterious energy to them so yeah we also did have the snake on the bottom of the deck so this feels like your person has some ability to heal other people um the ability to like tune into other people profoundly they have a strong compassionate in um compassionately intuitive side to them they're very connected to the moon as well um, so they could be a water sign also. Uh, so Pisces Cancer, Scorpio energy is coming up for me here as well. Yeah, but overall friendly, joyful, but also like friendly with that kind of distance. It's interesting. So let's see what else. What does the tarot want to say? So who has a crush on you? Group number two. Who has a crush on you? We have the Emperor. Okay, so Aries energy. This is a person who I do feel like already kind of flirts with you. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So the Emperor and the Knight of Cups here. This person feels like they already flirt with you or they have already like indicated in some way that they feel attracted to you. We have the Magician here as well. Yeah, this person definitely like they, they've indicated that they like you. You know, there's someone who if they like something, they're going to say it. They're not going to hold back. We have the King of Swords. Um, they're a strong-willed, determined person. Yeah, I get what I want type of person. Chariot here as well. Again, like with the hair here, I don't know what it is, but it's just very sexual energy. So they could just be very like, again, sexually magnetized towards you. Let's get more. Like we also have the three of cups here and we have the six of coins. So yeah, your person feels like you work well together we have the moon on the bottom of the deck here there's again this feeling of just feeling very intuitive so they're a very intuitive person as i said um at the same time very strong willed very rational with the magician here there's this energy of i get what i want um strong will determination strong focus very perceptive as well, uh, very analytical, very strong, like they show up with a strong mastery of themselves. Huh, with the chariot, this person can be a bit detached also um, emotionally, right? But they have in some way already like indicated to you that they like you. They might have wanted to, you know, spend more time with you or they might have asked you out for a drink or, you know, you could have connected at some type of party or some type of event. Your person feels like you're compatible with each other. They really very much feel like you guys are really compatible. Um, they could, you know, like dress really well um, is what I'm getting here. Like all these types of characters like Cruella and Scar and this magician guy um, and then Gaston, you know, and also like the um, tiger, I forget his name, from Jungle Book here, you know, they, and also Isma, of course, from the Emperor's Groove. They all have like this charisma to them. Of course, it's the villain's tarot deck. But again, like there's some type of charisma here. Like this person knows how to dress well. They know how to appear like a thousand bucks you know they know how to be gorgeous they know how to attract so they're the type of person who attracts they don't chase they attract is the vibe to this person but yeah they're very dreamy as well they are someone who shoots big shoot for the stars and land on the moon at least the type of energy but overall this person does want to get to 
the stars beyond, you know, they're a dreamer, they are a doer, they are a manifester, they're a strong person who really, really has, you know, a great vision for themselves, a great vision for their life. They are responsible. They also do have strong masculine energy is what's showing up here to me. Um, but like that's that masculine energy mixed in with a seductive moon, you know, like seductive moon energy, but strong masculine energy as well. But they don't use the masculine energy to chase, you know, they kind of more like stay back and attract um, the things that they're wanting. What I'm getting here is this person is also quite straightforward, like they are going to indicate or show you that they like you. So this person has, I feel like for sure, for most of you already in some way indicated that they like you, maybe by saying, oh, I have this, I have that. Um, let's go back to my place to do this or let me buy you a coffee. Let me buy you a drink. Let me ask you out. You know, it's that type of quality here with the emperor, with the knight of cups, with the magician. You know, it's like, yeah, let me just let me just call you in. You know, um, look at me, I'm so awesome, I'm so great. Like, eh. look at me working out, look at my muscles, you know, it's that type of energy. Uh, I'm kind of ex like um, making it a bit more bombastic and bigger, but you know, you kind of get the vibe that I'm getting to here. Um, what else? Yeah, this person wants a romantic connection with you, definitely. What else? They might have, yeah, what I wanted to say is they might have indicated that they like you through some type of body language. So, you know, like prolonged eye contact, staring into your eyes, looking at your lips, or just overall being very on the nose, straightforward. Like, I like you, let me go out with you, you know, very, very straightforward um, energy. So we have Aries here, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, then uh, Cancer again, Pisces again. So let's see what else shows up. This person could also be very smart or, you know, have a degree or work in higher education or just overall they're very like mentally agile. We have the two of pentacles. So why do they like you is what we're asking now. Hmm, interesting. So let's let's get a couple more cards so I get a good vibe here. So why does this person have a crush on you? Let's see. Why do they have a crush on you? The Four of Cups, this is interesting. This is like a similar energy to group number one as to why they have a crush on you. Um, they're saying they're figuring themselves out and their life is a bit boring at this time. So they're kind of really drawn to you. Um have the wheel of fortune it feels good to be with you they they i feel like they have a crush on you because they feel like you guys are kindred souls they, that you guys have like a deeper spiritual bond that's why they have a crush on you here also because their life is boring and they're trying to find balance in their life right now let's see what else why do they have a crush on you oh we have the star so they're very optimistic you are very healing. We have the Nine of Cups. You're someone who like is emotionally, spiritually fulfilled internally. And they can sense that. They can feel that about you. And that's very hot. How you feel to them specifically is very hot. We have the Five of Pentacles. They also like feel you searching for something. And they feel like they can give you the stuff that you're searching for. Um, so that's again why they're feeling like they have a crush on you because they want to offer you something. Um, let's get one more card. Okay, so this one wants to show up. We have the page of pentacles here. And we have again the moon on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So why does the, does the person have a crush on you? because there is just this mysterious energy between the two of you. You have the moon for both of you on the bottom here. There's some type of interesting allure between the two of you, some type of subconscious unspoken attraction. This is stemming apart from, you know, you being very fulfilled inside of yourself, you being able to fulfill yourself emotionally. Um you being someone who has strong boundaries is what I'm tapping into here as well. This person wants to in some way 
help you in the physical world. With the five of pentacles, they are feeling like have, they have a crush on you because they want to help you get something or gain something within the physical world. Um, they feel a strong like soul bond to you. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which feels like they were guided to you through fate or through destiny. Um, they also feel like they have some life lessons to get with you, with the star here, with the Wheel of Fortune. It almost feels like there's some healing here that's required. And that's why there's this like mysterious attraction, mysterious allure between the two of you. Um, they also feel like they have a crush on you because they feel like you are drawn to them already. Like you have this, this desire for them already. So they, they feel that your person is very like intuitive about those things. Um, and they kind of feel that and they're like drawn to you because of it, because they know they feel like you like them. So they're they're responding in the same way, in the same energy. Um, but yeah, there's this mysterious energy to you as well. They find you interesting. They find you mysterious. They want to get to know you better. They find you a bit like potentially enigmatic or um or just, yeah, like secretive. There's something private about you that this person is just very interested in. They might want to figure you out with the two of pentacles here as well. And they want to explore this further. They want to explore you further in the physical world. And you're just very positive. You're very optimistic. Um, you think in, in an interesting way. So you're perception of the world could be different than the regular person that they meet. So that's something that they're feeling very drawn to. There's something else with the star. Yeah. Um, that Uranus, that Aquarius energy of um, shifting, um, of breaking through the structure of breaking through the status quo. That's the energy here, like wanting a revolution type of energy, you know, like the energy of transformation, the energy of like being a pioneer in something. Like there's this newness to you. There's something interesting, something new about you, something groundbreaking about you with the star energy here um, that they feel very, very drawn to. So we have Jupiter energy. We have Aquarius. Um, what else do we have? We have um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here. Again, Pisces energy showing up very strongly so let's get you guys some initials now as well for the very end let's get some initials together or also like some messages okay so oops this one will come out so yeah, we have the unknown. Wow, this person loves the unknown of this connection. So that's again, something that they're very drawn to. They, they love to explore the unknown. They love to explore the dreamy um, aspects of reality, the mysterious aspects of reality. We have walks in nature. So this person could enjoy walks in nature. They could enjoy or want to have or to experience walks in nature with you. You also have Neptune here. So again, very Neptunian, dreamy, Pisces energy here. Um, there's an energy of spiritual awakening in this connection as well. If that helps any of you kind of tap into this energy more, or know which type of person this is. They could have shown up in your dreams a lot, or this person could have talked about their dreams to you. You have music showing up. You could have talked about music. All right, so we have A here in terms of initials. We have Ypsilon here. We have another one over here. So a person could have an interesting name or interesting like exotic name. We have X. I'm hearing X marks the spot. So it's like almost like they're very drawn to you. Like you're, you're the treasure that they want to get to, the treasure that they want to keep or have. We have W here. I'm hearing William, Winston, Winston Churchill is showing up to my mind now, right now as well. We have M. What I'm hearing is magnesium here as well. So, you know, there could be some magnesium, some exercise that you guys are doing together. We have C, Christian. What I'm hearing is Capricorn as well. Chris, um, Christina, we have A. Showing up again, we have R, 
I was going to say everything. We have reflection. I'm, I'm hearing reflection. We have F. I'm hearing Franz and Ferdinand, Franz Ferdinand as well. We have N. What else do we have? We have B. Okay, here we have also the leader. So a person could be an, a leader or number eight anagram type, quite a bossy person, um, or like they give up a, off a boss energy. Let's just get some more initials because I want to get some more for you guys here. Let's see what we have. So we have R here, again, we have A, again, I'm just going to put it here. We have U with these little dots, like U, so they could be German, or you could have talked about German stuff together. We have something hidden inside here. We have E here, and we have like a blank one. The blank one does represent like this person being a bit mysterious, enigmatic to you. We have E here as well. Um, what else? We have B again. Just put it here. And we have Libra showing up. We have E again. And we have A showing up for you. So these are the initials for you guys for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this tarot reading. Hope this gives you some more clarity around who this person is and what they represent in your life or you know what's going on in this connection thank you so much for sharing your energy with me if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading check out the etsy shop the link is down below if you want to connect to 18 plus tarot readings check out patreon which is also linked down below thank you so much for your presence so let me know how this reading was in the comment section down below thank you so much for commenting thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing to this channel i'll see you all soon in the next one and hope you have a lovely lovely day blessings to all of you. Bye. Namaste. Hello and welcome group number three. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked the owl here as your card or sova in Slovenian. So let's see who this person is. So we're going to look into who has a crush on you first by getting some more of these oracles, animal oracles. Then we're getting into tarot. Then we're seeing why they have a crush on you. So what is it about you that is just so attractive to them or so interesting to them? And after that, we're just going to get some initials, some confirmation for you guys as well. So let's see what wants to show up. So who has a crush on group number three, please? We have the dog showing up or the pus showing up here for you. Group number three as well. Let's get into this. Okay, we also have this animal, Jeriao. I'm not sure how to pronounce this in English. Um, it's like this bird, very gentle, very serene, likes to hang out around lakes and rivers. Um, we actually have a lot of them in Slovenian. I'm not sure how to pronounce it or what it's called in English at all. So let's see what else. So group number three, please. Who has a crush on group number three, please? So what wants to show up here? We have the fox. Lisica or the fox? Let's get just one more card. Who has a crush on them? Okay. Oh, again, like an energy of, okay. Spirit saying not to take any of this because two came through, but it's it's like not resonating. So let's just get one more card, please. Group number three, who has a crush on them? Okay, we have the blackbird here. Blackbird or kos in Slovenian. Here we have the raven on the bottom of the deck or krokar here. So a lot of bird energy, definitely very airy. Your person is very airy overall, like a strong air element. Just going to put the croaker here so we kind of remember he's a part of it too. Um, hmm. There's a strong, strong wisdom to this person. They're a lifetime adventurer, lifetime searcher for like for the truth. This person is someone who is always searching for the truth. They have a strong feeling of just like searching for wisdom, searching for truth, searching for 
the basic elements of society or the basic elements of consciousness they're always like trying to understand things they're a thinker they are a good observer um they like to be quite private is what i'm getting here they are incredibly incredibly intelligent very smart a little bit quirky um but ultimately this person has like a drive to know what is quote unquote true right so that's like the the thing that they're moving towards that like the north star that they're moving towards they're very loyal with the dog energy here there's a big loyalty here but also like loyalty to very specific people is what this is showing up as like very strong loyalty but very loyal to just very few people in their life they are friendly to others but they don't form strong bonds with a lot of people this person has a certain very like serene energy to them especially with this jeriao energy here and with kos and with krokar and also with the owl with sova there's a certain dreamy like Neptunian, mysterious, mystical energy to them that like shows up in what they're interested in. You know, for example, it shows up in their intellectual pursuits and in wanting to know what is true, wanting to get to the basic ground of life, wanting to understand life, what are the basic elements of life, of consciousness and all that. Yeah, and there's something like very very intuitive about them as well like very gentle very very smooth like watery energy even they're very perceptive very shrewd yet at the same time very loving um very dreamy very very like daydreaming energy you know like they spend a lot of time in their own mind just thinking, just spending time with themselves. There is a very introverted energy to this person. They could be quite shy as well. It's what I'm feeling here. Even though they're friendly with people, they could be quite shy often. There's a certain like quirky energy with the with the fox here though. Like your person is quite quirky, quite interesting. Um, they could have like an interesting sense of humor, make like interesting, cute, or just very unorthodox jokes you know they're fun to be around but ultimately they are very like introverted as well they like to spend a lot of time on their own they're a very peaceful person but they're also like the type of person who you don't cross especially like with the owl here i'm getting this energy of predator from the owl like you know like there, there are strong boundaries that this person has as well very intelligent, very intuitive, like on a journey to discover the truth. You know, there's like, there's, there's a lot inside of them, but they keep the door to their house quite locked up. Um, except like those instances when they're very quirky and interesting, just fun to be around with the Fox energy here, but they are also quite cunning. Um, yeah, this person is quite cunning. They're resourceful. They can think quickly on their feet. But overall, they are also like very soft-spoken, gentle, serene. Um, they could be watching you from a distance, like with all these birds. It just feels like your person's kind of at a distance, kind of floating in the air, kind of observing you, watching you. Um, so for a lot of you, you might not even you know have a lot of contact with this person they're just kind of observing you kind of hovering around and watching you so yeah let's see what the tarot has to say about this let's see who has a crush on you let's type into some tarot to see more okay so we have the five of wands this person could be someone who has a certain conflict with someone in your life right now or they they might show up as someone who is just difficult to figure out 
from your specific perspective with the five of wands there um they could feel like they are competing for something with you or they're competing with someone else for your attention often let's see what else we have the queen of wands let's get some more so we have the ace of swords here showing up for you guys as well so who is this person oops so we have the page of cups showing up now they could like beer <laughs> as well as showing up they could also like really like apples and be interested in like healthy food healthy eating we have the five of cups reversed one more card please spirit okay the world ew so yeah this person is the person who is currently closing a very difficult chapter or closing a chapter in their lives and they are making their way to fulfillment right now so we have the six of cups here on the bottom of the deck this person feels a familiar connection with you so this is also a little bit of a reading of why they have a crush on you so um let's first of all just get into who they are a bit more so they could be aries leo sagittarius or have strong fire in their chart we also do have pisces cancer scorpio here with the cup energy so they could also have strong water in their chart so this person could like beer again they're overall quite dreamy against that dreamy quality someone who is very trusting or interested not really trusting of a lot of people but trusting of the people who are close to them is what i'm getting trusting of those who they know they can trust this person could have had a lot of past difficulties with the five of cup energies here so with the five of cups there is just this overall energy of your person healing coming to an acceptance of what was in their life before um so they're coming to an acceptance right now of what has occurred in their life they're coming to terms with loss if some type of loss has happened to your person in the past that's something that can let you know who this person is um so they're coming to terms with loss here uh, moving past pain and finding peace overall which also resonates with this Jeriao energy over here so there's like this feeling of moving past pain moving past opt obstacles right now um very inspiring energy as well with the ace of swords your person is very creative mentally so they are very creative when it comes to thinking about solutions of different uh, things um they also like are currently experiencing a fresh start in life with the ace of swords this person has a lot of new ideas often they're very inspiring they are quite logical as well but also very inspiring they always have some new way of thinking about a specific issue um they love to communicate what they have found out and communicate about the things the topics that they're interested in this person overall like loves to be in a space of mental clarity about everything in their life um they love using their intellect as well so they're very like intellectually driven um love to connect to intellectual topics love to talk about intellectual things overall they're quite a confident person but like again like introverted confidence you know they're not extroverted bombastic energy so they feel confident they feel passionate this person is quite independent determined um they are occasionally upbeat and fun to be around you know with that quirky personality but often they're quite serious and very peaceful serene as well uh very energetic occasionally uh courageous and like empowered is what i'm feeling here um uh, from your person so again with the five of wands energy you know your person could be someone who is currently experiencing some healthy challenges in their life um this person is someone who is often motivated by stimulating activities what else um they 
they may like sports. They might may like, you know, to express their energies through some type of sport or some type of like powerful physical activity here. Um, what else? They, they might feel like they have competition with you or they might feel like you are desired by many people. You know, there's just, just this type of feeling of healthy competition here that is um, inviting this person to step out of their little box or out of their little, you know, cocoon and just be more, be more present in your life. They do feel like quite a wallflower that is being asked to step it up with the world. It's just like, I feel like your person feels like they have reached a sense of closure in their life currently, or they're, they're kind of closed a cycle right now in their life. Some type of cycle has been closed in your person's life, whether that's a relationship, whether it's a job, or it's just something they've been struggling with for a really long time mentally. Something has closed off here. This person is also someone who really enjoys traveling, especially um, being on a boat or cruises, things like that is what I'm tapping into here. They also feel like a strong, strong um, emotional bond with you, with the Six of Cups. They feel like a sense of home with you. They might have said that to you, um, or you might feel close with this person, like a sense of home with them. So that's kind of inviting me into the reading on um, why do they feel this crush towards you? Because you guys do feel like you are kindred souls with the Six of Cups. Um, there's this feeling of feeling at home in your presence. You feeling like home to them, right? So there's this, there's this closeness that they feel with you. Your person could also feel very nostalgic um with you or there's just something that they're almost like tapping into through you some type of emotion some type of memory that really reminds them of home and through that it kind of draws them closer to you because because you give them that energy of home and closeness and love so there is just something about you that really like is is calling them mm, attracting them closer so let's see what else we can gather here. So we have the Queen of Swords showing up. So they really, really like you because you're smart, because you challenge them on an intellectual level. What else? Why do they have a crush on group number three? Please, Spirit, let's see what comes through here. Okay, so this one, this one. Okay, we have the King of Swords. So they feel like you guys see eye to eye or you really understand them. They also feel like they, they can talk to you about these things that they're considering in their own mind or the things that they're grappling with in their own mind. They have a crush on you because they feel like you understand them, like you know what they're asking, where they're coming from and the journey that they're on, the journey of discovery that they are on. Uh, we also have the chariot. They're interested in your attracted to you because you're very very like energetic. You're someone who moves. You're, you're someone who has what I'm hearing is strong will. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, wow. This person is the, deeply attracted to you because you represent family to them. This is a deep one. Such a deep one. Okay, wow. So they're so attracted to you, first of all, on a mental level, yes. But there's also like this deeper energy of you represent home to this person you like through your life experiences carry an energetic blueprint that is deeply resonating with your person on an energetic vibrational level that in the sense that it is healing them healing their ancestral trauma let's say here um and it's healing their their trauma from home and it's like connecting them to a space of togetherness to the space of home that they want um to a secure stable family energy as well to a stable home energy as well here it's it's very deep it's like a sense of stability they're attracted to you because you provide that stability that they potentially didn't have in relationships before and that's that's the energy of healing from that here so let's see what else 
we have the ten of cups yes like yeah like they're they're attracted to you because they see the possibility of being with you on like this deeper level on spending time with you and spending their life with you we have the king of cups oh my gosh lovely oh my gosh we also do have the devil on the bottom of the deck oh yeah so yeah this goes deep uh -uh. so you guys this goes deep they, this person is attracted to you there they have a crush on you because on one level there is intellectual compatibility strong intellectual co compatibility between the two of you they can talk to you about anything they can talk to you about concepts that few people grasp and you just immediately grasp them it's so easy to connect with you because of that you are healing them profoundly there's a lot of subconscious connection there's a lot of subconscious attraction towards you because they feel like they want to heal these these wounds from childhood these wounds from um the ancestral lineage as well because it's not their, just their childhood that they're healing it's like also the ancestral lineage that they're healing because it showed up in their childhood because of the ancestral lineage in the first place so i'm not going to go into too much about that but it's just like you are healing them on a subconscious level they feel so so drawn to you and they feel so connected and they have such a crush on you because you are connecting them back to this experience of healthy family security within family love harmony alignment they feel a so strong sense of um stability with you a solid connection with you this person feels a strong sense of emotional stability from you as well and a sense of reliability so they feel like you can hold them you know like they have a space with you is a deep one here also they feel like you're very wise you're very serene you're very approachable you're very empathetic you're very compassionate and they feel drawn to you because of that also they want like a family with you and they feel like they have a crush on you because they are in their mind already dreaming up a scenario in which they have a family with you and in, in which they have a house with you in which they have like this harmonious connection with you a soulmate type relationship with you they also feel drawn to you because you are someone who is a go-getter in life because you are will willful um because you have the ability to think outside of the box and you are someone who is a master of their own life and they again feel like that is the security that they're wanting, that they're needing themselves. With the devil on the bottom here, there's like a deep, deep subconscious energy, a deep, deep subconscious attraction here. This person feels a lot of passion and also a lot of physical attraction towards you. They might have felt a lot of sexual lust, sexual desire towards you as well. We're not going to go deeper into that just because it's not this platform that that is going to be on but um yeah with the devil there's a lot of desire there so just know there's a lot of that type of energy here as well it's like a whole bombastic powerful cluster of that energy behind all of their activities with you here um it's like on a, on a subconscious level but also like very consciously occasionally for them as well um this person wants to be with you on all levels all dimensions like they they just want to be with you there's a strong need for you again there's such a strong need because of this healing that's being done um because they feel this strong compatibility because they feel like you understand them like few people really understand them they feel and because they, they just feel like this is a soulmate connection you know, this person feels like you guys are soulmates. They feel so drawn to you because of that. And they feel like you guys are meant to be together and they have a crush on you because they've already like made that to be the case in their mind. We also do have a couple here. Um, so again, indicating soulmate energy. So you guys, um, yeah, in terms of signs, Capricorn is showing up powerfully. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra here, Cancer, uh, Scorpio and uh, Pisces energy so yeah this is powerful this goes deep like why this person has a crush on you it's deep it's healing 
it's healing them already and you know them playing out this relationship with you is going to heal them even more this person is on that healing journey in their life right now and that's why they have a crush on you so that's powerful um so yeah what else i i promised initials so we're going to get into initials so let's get some initials some confirmations here as well for all of you so let me just go deep in yeah this relationship also goes very very deep for this person so we have a lot of initials uh so yeah let's see let's go through it we have p we have n we have a g we have u I'm hearing Ubongo or something like that, or Glubongo. I don't know. It's just something that's showing up. I'm not even sure what that is, what that word is. Just something I heard. Ubongo or something Ubungo or something like that. O is showing up. I have pawns, like pawns, the language side where you look up definitions of different words. Showing up, we have T. I'm hearing torrent, torrents. We have V. We have H. We have P again showing up. I'm hearing ping pong. Your person could play ping pong. They could enjoy ping pong. You could enjoy ping pong. We have L. We have B. What else do we have? We have R. Just put it here. We have T. We have, uh, what I'm hearing is down to a T. So it's almost like they really feel heard, understood by you. We have B again. We have A over here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me just put it like that. We have A. We have D. With this one, strong sexual connotations are showing up. So I'm just not going to say it on this platform. But you get the gist. We have known. I have known you since forever. I feel such a strong familiarity with you. Your person feels like you guys could even be, you know, have a past life connection. There's just such a draw to you. They feel a strong sense of attunement with you as well. We have C, again, DC, DC, also like DC comics are showing up here. Your person could be a bit of a nerd, <laughs> but also with DC, like a strong sexual connotations are again showing up, which I'm not going to really get into. Um, but, but yeah, that's there. We have G here as well. Being called to get a few more for some reasons. Let's just take these. Let's take this. What else do we have where we have E? Another E. We have Z. We have N. So we yeah, we do have another N. We have Mercury here. So Mercury could be something, you know, like mean something for you guys. Um, also, like you could have experienced like strong shifts in this Mercury retrograde. And we have air. So a great deal of air. This connection is very airy. For a lot of you, at least, if it doesn't resonate, it's okay. Just let it be. Um, but with air here, it just feels like you guys are very intellectually bonded or, or connected through the intellect a lot, connected through the mental dimension a lot, through the thought dimension a lot. So maybe that resonates. You now, maybe you have a lot of intellectual conversations or you want to have a lot of intellectual conversations with each other, or you're just very connected through that. Um, in the physical world. So guys, this is where I'm going to finish this off. Thank you so much for tuning in, for sharing your energy, for being here. Um, you can play around with this little spread here. Maybe something spells out your name or something similar, or you just find initials here about your person. So thank you so much for your presence. If you want to book a personal tarot reading, check out my Etsy shop. The link is down below. If you want to check out Patreon for 18 plus tarot readings, because there's a lot of that here, check out Patreon for that. Check out the Primordial Practitioners for 18 plus readings, because the Badass Shaman is for work with me personally through what's up throughout the month so just be mindful of the two tiers that are present on patreon so that you pick the right one for you thank you for tuning in for sharing your energy for liking subscribing thank you so much for your comments down below love you all so very much looking forward to connecting with you soon in another reading and hope you have a wonderful day blessings to you bye namaste